Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to 365 Ninja. I've got an Excel tip for you today that might seem complicated, but it's really not. I'm going to show you the simplest way to create a drop down list in Excel so that if somebody is filling out your Excel sheet, they can pick from a specified list of inputs. So I'm here in Excel 2013, and you can see that I've actually already switched to my data tab because that's where I'm going to need to be to create my drop down list. And I've got a sample task tracking sheet here. And in the status column, I want to send this out and have people pick from a list of statuses, complete, in progress, and not started. So in order to add a drop down list with those values to the status column, I'll select that first cell, click data validation, select data validation. And remember, I'm here on my data tab. So Instead of allow any value, we're going to pick list. And then in the source field here, I'm going to type out my values separated by a comma. And you can see that I have a couple options there to ignore blanks and have an in cell dropdown. So just keep those boxes checked and click OK. So you can see that when I clicked OK, a little arrow has appeared next to my cell. And if I use that drop down menu, I can select from one of those three statuses. Now, if I want that to appear in all of the cells, I'll just copy it, select the cells where I want it to appear and paste it in. Now you can see anywhere I click that uh, drop down arrow appears. Let me also show you what happens if I try to type in a value that isn't in the list. I click away and then it tells me a user has restricted values that can be entered into this cell. In an example like this, you wouldn't want people to be able to put in anything but what you've specified. So there's a few other types of drop down lists you can make and there's some more complex things you can do, but for the very simplest type of drop down list, which can serve a lot of needs and a lot of use cases, that's how I recommend doing it. Thanks for following 365ninja.com and be sure to check back with us for more tips and tricks.